Smith, Ranking Member Johnson, and members of the committee. Thank you for today's invitation to talk about the Committee on Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Education and NASA's involvement in coordinating our STEM education assets with a broader STEM framework. When Congress formed NASA in 1958, it was with a bold goal. Your predecessors charged us to reach for new heights and reveal the unknown so that all we discover and all that we learn will benefit all humankind. This is what inspires us to come to work every single day. For me specifically, I know that the discoveries we make and the things that we learn are directly tied to the quality and quantity of future scientists, technologists, engineers, and mathematicians that are available and inspired to join us in our mission. To that end, NASA education's vision is to advance high quality STEM education using NASA's unique capabilities. NASA's education programs are deliberate in developing and executing strategic partnerships with governmental, academic, industrial, entrepreneurial, and international communities to ensure NASA's education mission and vision, vision are properly addressed. I am the co-chair of the Federal Coordination and STEM Education Task Force which helped guide the development of the administration's five-year strategic plan for STEM education. I am also NASA's representative on the COSTEM. My staff has served in leadership roles on the fast track inventory, evaluation, and cross-agency priority goal subcommittees and working groups. NASA enthusiastically supports greater coordination among the Federal agencies and strengthening the nation's focus on STEM education. NASA also supports the STEM education reorganization proposal in the President's 2014 budget. For over two years, 13 Federal agencies contributed expertise from their education and technical workforce. The strategic, the, the strategic plan that this team, my co-chair, Joan Fernie Monday, and I, provides a framework for increased collaboration among agencies. The plan strengthens accountability of Federal project managers places an emphasis on rigorous evaluation and establishes increased linkages between Federal, State, and local education efforts. NASA's education portfolio will focus on four priorities that contribute toward the administration's STEM education goals. Those priorities are STEM engagement, NASA internships, fellowships, and scholarships, educator professional development, and institutional engagement. An overarching operating principle throughout NASA's portfolio is a focus on creating opportunities for diverse groups of institutions, educators, and learners. This includes women, minorities, and persons with disabilities. NASA will consolidate the education functions, assets, and efforts of the mission directorates, offices, and field centers into a single STEM education and accountability project managed by my office. As part of NASA's STEM interagency coordination effort, our available assets will support STEM activities that will be directed by the NSF, the Smithsonian Institution, and the Department of Education. This includes the infrastructure that supports the rigorous collection, evaluation, and dissemination of evidence of NASA's contributions to the Administration's goals. The Executive Office of the President recommended and the President accepted an FY14 budget request based, in part, on the work of the Committee on STEM, and the goals are the same. Representatives from the 13 Federal agencies will continue to meet to ensure the Federal assets are coordinated and put to use in support of the Nation's educators and learners. NASA is committed to close collaboration with other STEM agencies and to inspiring future generations to seek careers in aerospace. NASA has the ability to engage educate and prepare a future generation of explorers for employment in the aerospace fields. NASA's people, missions, and spirit of discovery inspire our nation's youth to pursue STEM careers to benefit all of humankind. Thank you for letting me testify, and I am happy to take any questions you may have. Thank you.